Good morning everyone. My name is Judeline D. Balut, a secondary school teacher from the school's division of Zambales. Let me present to you my research which is entitled Supreme Student Government, a Platform for Active Citizenship Development. As part of my introduction, I would like you to watch a short video clip to better understand what active citizenship is. Meet Khalid. Khalid loves his neighborhood almost as much as he loves music. He's lived here for 26 years, so he knows these streets. But sometimes he wishes he could change a few things. He's not the only one. Meet Leila. She works for a local organization by day, and she's a community hero by night. Leila's trained as an active citizens facilitator. She's brilliant at bringing people together. They talk, and not just about music, about the big things. It gets Khalid thinking about what makes him him, about what he's got to give and learn from other people in the community. Meet the community. Now they're talking about the changes they'd like to make and they're gaining new skills to make them happen. Together, they turn an abandoned bus into a library. Edson and Nadia start a community garden. Khalid organizes social events for the elderly. Things happen when people connect. And it's not just here, but across the country and beyond. We are active citizens working together locally and connecting globally. We believe change can happen through us and not just to us. If you agree, join us. Okay, so just like what was shown in the video, active citizenship includes proactive behavior such as civic engagement, defining and solving problems for the common good, and a 21st century skill includes active citizenship. Therefore, it is important for the secondary school students to acquire active citizenship skill. And then another important term that needs to be defined is the Supreme Student Government. This is a student body organization in public secondary schools in the Philippines, which aims to train pe pupils or the students to become better members of the society and how to function as democratic citizens. And the purpose of this research is to find out how the Supreme Student Government can be revitalized as a platform for active citizenship skill development. This can be achieved by analyzing the experiences, the views, and the reports of the participants who were elected as SSG presidents. In connection to these, um, there are two questions that need to be answered. The first one, how do the students define active citizenship? The second question is, what do the students report on their participation in the Supreme Student Government in terms of their A, activities conducted, B, the knowledge, C, the skill, and D, the attitude? For the research methodology, the researcher conducted an online interview with the 12 participants who were elected as SSG presidents for the school year 2018-2020. These SSG presidents were all from the school's division of Sambales, and the participants were all secondary school students uh, who belong to uh, the age bracket 16 to 19 years old. And um, it's because of the pandemic, the coronavirus 2019, that the researcher was not able to conduct face-to-face -face interview with the participants. It's all thanks to Google Form that the researcher was able to conduct online interview. And for the gathered data, the researcher used thematic coding analysis. 
The themes that were generated from the data were then compared to the identified attributes of active citizenship. Um, for the results in discussion, uh, the first question aims to know how the students define active citizenship. And uh, results show that majority of the participants defined active citizenship in a passive way. There were five emergent themes based on the collected data. The first theme was cooperation with authority. The second one is social identity. Third is obedience to the law. Fourth is attitude of respect. And fourth is civic engagement. The responses of the students were then compared to um, the definition of active citizenship by Wu 2012 and Cranley et al. For them, active citizenship is being actively involved in the society. The term active means to explore how societies work, how they themselves can participate and take action as crucial, informed, and responsible citizens. So we can conclude that the student's definition of active citizenship does not match the given definition of active citizenship. So we can say that the students have passive understanding of active citizenship. And then for the second question, um, it is the aim of this research study to find out what type of activities that are conducted by the Supreme Student Government and whether these activities promote active citizenship. So there were five emergent themes based on the students' responses. The first one is raising awareness, next is environmental activities, next is leadership training, next is outreach programs, and then next is conduct of social activities. So these five emergent themes were then compared to Haggard's 2015 Elements of Active Citizenship Programs. For Haggard, uh, an active citizenship program should promote community partnership, should promote real life experience, it should develop transferable skills, it should demonstrate social activism, and um, based on Haggard's elements of active citizenship programs, the activities that were given by the elected SSG presidents somewhat fit into this category. And then an another question that needs to be answered is um, the knowledge that the students have acquired from their experience as SSG president. So there were two emergent themes. The first one is importance of goal setting. They consider that um, their realization of um, the importance of goal setting as their acquired knowledge. They said that they can uh, focus more because they have set goals. Uh, they know what actions to take. And then next, theme is sense of leadership. They realize that being a leader needs to, as a leader, they need to set as a good example. And they also need to develop love for unity and passion in solving problems. They need to be disciplined and responsible. Okay, so these are the knowledge that they have acquired. And when we have compared it to the identified knowledge necessary for active citizenship, um, Atkins, Taylor, and Wood 2016, Craig 2010, and Heathcote 2019 um, claim that um, this refers to a deeper sense of knowledge which enables the students to question existing laws, to make informed decisions, and to challenge the rights and responsibilities of a citizen. So the responses given by the participants do not meet the kind of knowledge necessary for active citizenship. When the participants were asked about the skills that they have acquired, there were two emergent themes. They could claim that they have developed decision-making skill and interpersonal skill. 
And when these skills were compared to the identified skills necessary for active citizenship, Menzi 2018 claimed that the key elements that comprise active citizenship skill includes cognitive skill and social-emotional skill. And the findings of this study show that Supreme Student Government has helped the students develop good participatory skill, which is somewhat aligned to the identified active citizenship skills. When it comes to the attitude that they have acquired, there were three emergent themes. The first one is sense of humility, next is responsibility of one's actions, and then the third one is openness to the views of others. When these themes were compared to the identified attitude necessary for active citizenship, Humphreys and Schuller, Humphreys 2011 and Schuller 2010 said that active citizenship is being referred to as an attitude comprised of humility, determination, and responsibility. And we can say that the attitude that the participants have reported were indicative of active citizenship. And that's a good thing. And for the conclusion, um, the, number one, most participants define active citizenship in a passive way, as is the conducted activities support the development of active citizenship. It's a good thing. Knowledge of the participants is not me. They identified essential knowledge for active citizenship. Skills that the participants acquired were moderately aligned to the identified active citizenship skills. The attitude that the participants acquired were indicative of active citizenship. So for my recommendation, SSG can be revitalized as a platform for active citizenship development among the secondary school students. SSG activities and programs must be carefully designed and implemented to assure that the students will acquire the identified knowledge, skill, and attitude necessary for active citizenship. And then lastly, future studies may be conducted to assess the level of influence of SSG to the elected officers. And these are for my references. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye.